Hi, this is Pastor Charlie, and we are in week three of our series, Peaks and Valleys. And the title of this message has been The Rise to Fame of David. So the deep dive begins with this incredible story of David fighting Goliath. And that's where we began, but there's so much more to the story. And I want to give you some of those principles here, because when you think about David and Goliath, we think about this this guy and this big, big guy, this kid and this giant. But it's so much more than that. As we went through this message, it was this cosmic battle between good and evil that's really at the epicenter of it. And so the things that I wanna dig a little bit deeper on is this. If we think about who David is as a young man, he's developing these things within him that really help him to become the vessel that God uses to defeat Goliath. And more than that, to represent God's power and God's presence to the people. That's really what it's about. It's not about Goliath and it's not about David. It's about God defeating evil. It's about God being present in, in, a, in an incredible time frame that, that they were questioning his presence and his power. And so the deep dive is this. There's four things that David had that were developing in him that we have to dig into as well. The first one is character. There is this character development that was taking place with David. What about you and I? Where are we digging deep in character? Because as we dig deep in character, that really is about my and your relationship with him. It's not about our relationship with other people. It's not horizontal, it's vertical. Our relationship with God. The other thing that David was doing was digging deep in his commitment to God as well. Again, that is not a horizontal thing. Our commitment to other people, no. I'm talking about our commitment to God. So you see David as uh, a very young man being faithful, developing character and commitment when nobody was looking. We see David um, in the field tending sheep when all of a sudden he has to deal with the lion and the bear. And because of this deep commitment and this developing character, all of a sudden he has victory over these, these formidable foes. Think about that. So when it comes time for David to really begin to have this, this prominent entrance where he's face to face with the giant, there's other things that are developing in him. The other C that I want to talk about as we dig a little bit deeper is the third C. We have character, we have commitment. This third C is competency. He's growing in his understanding how to use the gifts that he's been given, how to develop the relationship with the people around him. So he's growing in his knowledge and, and understanding. That is the part that really, to me, is the toughest one. We have to grow in our understanding of who God is and how he wants to use us and develop himself within us so that we can face these giants. Competency is something that you can glean. Again, it's really not about our relationship with other people. It's like, how well do we know God? And we can know more of him. We can dig deeper in our competency and our understanding of God so that the fourth thing that happens is chemistry, and that is the ability to now relate to other people. How do we connect with other people? How did David deal with Saul? I mean, if you were a part of uh, the message and you dig, you know, you were digging deeper with, with what Pastor Ken was talking about last week, you see that relationship with David and Paul, David and Saul, sorry, developing and, and how intense that was. And yet David's commitment was to keep that relationship godly pretty shocking when you think about it. Because at the end of the day, when we're thinking about all of this stuff, there actually is a fifth C that I want you to dig into, and that's courage. At the end of it, there was this courage that David had to run straight into the battle, to run straight at Goliath. And that kind of courage is, well, that's God-given. That courage isn't man-made. And that's what David had to deal with a giant. What is a giant in your life? 
What is the thing that seems so huge, that is so formidable that you can't handle it on your own? Well, that's when you need to dig deep and understand that it's the power of Jesus Christ alive in us that gives us the ability to have that courage to run to the battle. And so I just have a couple questions for you. These are really simple. Number one, in what way is God calling you to begin to exercise your influence with people, to share your story with others? Think about how your story can have influence with somebody else. The second thing I wanna ask you is this, is, is how can you cultivate this godly, unwavering relationship that you have with God already? How can you go deeper in it? What areas of your life that can you address and say, more of you, God, less of me? And the third thing is, is what we just talked about, all right? What courage do you need to have to run to the battle? Do you need more of it? I do. I kind of guess you do too. And that courage comes from the knowledge and the understanding that the power to run to the battle and to deal with that enemy is in Christ, our relationship with him. He is our power, he's the source of our strength, and he's the one that we rely on. So as you dig a little bit deeper in this deep dive, go back, ask yourself those questions, and let him use you just like he used David.